Another member of the New Jersey Hall of Fame passed away this last year, the great Yogi Berra. Uh, Yogi, I'm telling you. And Joni, I know you're out there and the whole Yogi team. We, June 13th is our big event for the Yogi Berra Museum, which is an outstanding educational facility. And uh, we, we're very close with the Berra family. You, and very, so sad when Yogi died on September 22nd of last year, 69 years to the day after his major league debut. He was an 18-time All-Star and a three-time MVP, but his ease with a glove and bat were matched or maybe even surpassed by his ease with the English language. As writer Alan Barra put it, his comments were distilled bits of wisdom, which like good country songs and old John Wayne movies got to the truth in a hurry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yogi Berra's son, Larry Berra, and his granddaughter, Lindsay Berra, if you would. Welcome everybody. On behalf of the Berra family, and there's quite a few of us out there, uh, I just wanted to also state that my youngest son does serve in the United States Army, and I'm very proud of him. Uh, I just want to thank you all for coming, and I want to congratulate all the inductees and their families, and to steal a, uh, a line from one of my favorite announcers. He's out here, by the way. Uh, when you get into the New Jersey Hall of Fame, it's awesome, baby. <laughs> it's my daughter, Lindsay. My grandpa Yogi was a war hero. He was a brilliant linguist, obviously. He was one of the greatest baseball players to ever play the game. But more important than any of those things, he was just a good man. I think the best man, but maybe I'm a little bit biased. He was decent and humble, proud and confident, but he had no ego at all. When he spoke to you, no matter who you were, he had a way of first making you laugh and then making you feel like you were the most important person in the world. And I know he left this world a much better place than he found it. As you saw in the video, my grandpa was very passionate about education and working with kids and teaching the 20,000 of them we see each year at the Yogi Berra Museum and Learning Center the values that baseball taught him. Grandpa would be thrilled that the New Jersey Hall of Fame is embracing those same values with its educational mission, and their inaugural, inaugural Arate scholarships are a wonderful demonstration of that mission, although I am quite certain that Grandpa would have thought Arate was a Dominican Yankee prospect with a good curveball. <laughs> <laughs> to award the inaugural Arate scholarships from the Hall of Fame, it is my pleasure to introduce the president of the New Jersey Hall of Fame Foundation Board of Directors, Steve Edwards, and the president of the New Jersey Education, Education Association, Wendell Steinhauer. Good music, thank you. Thank you, Lindsay, good evening. I folded my speech so much that I can't read it now. So if I present myself with the award, just uh, hit me over the head, would you? My name is Steve Edwards, President of the Hall of Fame Foundation Board. Welcome to the 8th Annual Induction Ceremony. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say how about it for Maria Chapa, Gail Gordon, Amber Lee, Teresa, and everyone else involved in planning this event. Our Board of Commissioners, our Foundation Board, there is so much work that goes into these events uh, that you don't see, and, and we're very grateful. The Jersey Hall of Fame was created by legislation in 2005 to honor our state's most distinguished citizens and to send a message to children that they can and should strive for excellence in any endeavor of their choosing. By presenting significant and powerful role models, the Hall of Fame serves as a source of learning, inspiration, and hope for all the youth of New Jersey. As part of that mission, we're thrilled this year to award our first $5,000 Arate scholarships. The word arete is a concept that Plato referred to more than 3,000 years ago. It essentially means that man has the potential to actualize their highest sense of self, that all of us should strive to pursue our passions in life and do what we can to realize, realize our dreams, regardless of the circumstances or the adversities we're likely to face in the path of life. The recipients of the Arate Scholarship this year and every year will be young people who demonstrate a sense of Jersey pride and the willingness to go above and beyond 
in their quest to pursue their dreams. They must show academic engagement, moral character, and a commitment to their community. They do not necessarily have to be at the very top of their school class from an academic standpoint, but should demonstrate a focus in school and life and have a well thought out plan on how they intend to realize their highest sense of self, their arete. Wendell? The New Jersey Education Association is proud. <laughs> There's a few of them out there. <laughs> is proud to partner with the New Jersey Hall of Fame to select the winners of the inaugural Arete Scholarships. Seniors from all over the state were invited to apply. In addition to their academic record and activities both in and out of the school, applicants were asked to talk about how they deal with adversity and how they demonstrate the concept of Arete in their lives. They were asked to submit letters of recommendation from teachers, coaches, mentors, and community leaders. They also had to pick a member of the New Jersey Hall of Fame and explain how they identify with that person's life experiences. And of course, they had to explain how they demonstrate New Jersey pride. The selection panel included executives from the Hall of Fame, the New Jersey Education Association, the New Jersey Principals and Supervisors Association, the New Jersey Insurance Group, school counselors, and other Hall of Fame supporters such as Eric Legrand, Karen Legrand, and Norris Clark from the Princeton Strategic Consulting Group, the Hall of Fame's social media consultant. So without ado, and I'm sure there's a drum roll somewhere in here, please join me in welcoming our two inaugural Arete Scholarship winners, Madeline Bound and Salvatore Campbell. Our two inaugural award winners, give them a hand. <laughs> 